Okay, I'm going to do a little demonstration of two things. The first thing is uh, a pretend tiling command. If you want to cut something really, really big and you, you're going to have to cut it up into pieces, and here's an easy way to do it. First, I'm going to turn off my registration marks uh, because I want just a clear screen. I'm going up here to the grid and tell it show the grid and you can also turn on snap to grid and I want my spacing to be every inch so that one of these squares is an inch and now I'm going to paste something a little uh, image off from my clipboard and it's this little girl and I'm going to turn her sideways and if you don't know when you go to turn things if you hold down shift it will turn exactly 90 degrees. I'm going to put her at the top and I'm going to make her as big as I can make her and that I could still cut and I'm going to put her as close to what I perceive the middle to be as possible. And then I'm going to click on the knife tool. Now I have the updated version so I have more choices but I don't need any more choices. I'm just going to click on the regular old knife tool. I'm going to put it about halfway and I'm going to hold down the shift key before I while I start and it will absolutely cut straight across. And then I'm going to click on it again and I'm going to try to cut down the middle what I think is the middle again. And now each piece is separate so I can take them apart and now I can make her this quarter as big as I want so you go to the state size command and I'm going to try making it 300 percent and see if it fits whoops command Z let's try 200 percent fits well um, I could play around a little more. Once I figure it out, I'm going to take every piece. I'm going to see how the feet go at 200%. Oh, got to select it. I'm always forgetting to do that. Well, it's too big, so I'm going to have to choose something else. But you need to fiddle around, Command Z. Uh, I'm going to say. 175 percent but then I have to remember and go back and change this one the first one I did probably safer to start over um, what I should have done is start with the biggest piece first and what then I have four pieces that I can do uh, however well the the 175 should work well so uh, that's how you make four pieces. You, you print and cut them one at a time. And somebody else was asking about the print to PDF. What you do is you go up to file and go to print. And I have two ways I can do it on my printer. Where you choose your printer, I can choose Adobe PDF 9.0 because I have that. And if I tell it to print, it will ask me where I want to save that. And uh, it's saving it. Uh, it adds a Silhouette Studio Designer edition to the fir first part of your uh, title, which I'm not nuts about. So I usually erase that. And it says Halloween 10 PDF. And I save it to my desktop. And then I can't show you on this thing, but I can open it up. My, my other choice with this printer is right down here in the lower left. Uh, it says PDF, and I can save it as a PDF. So anyway, that's the two ways. See, once again, it tells me that I can do it. So anyway, that's everything I know about pretending to tile and saving as a PDF. Bye.